But today I want to talk about how we can schedule jobs using Flow and no Apex. So let's think about a use case first. So for example, you have leads coming in and any leads that doesn't have email, you want to automatically schedule status to invalid or something. And uh, the difference between why can't you use a process builder to immediately update that status, you could do that. But let's say if you don't want these things happening in real time and it also is very cost effective in terms of you're not gonna apply a lot of automations just when lead is edited or saved. Rather than doing that, you might want to run a daily job or a weekly job depending on your use case to update certain fields or maybe um, you have an object which relies on approval processes and there is status on that approval process and you might want to send a reminder to everybody whose status is, for example, in progress or something like that. So it is very, um, there are tons of use cases, but today we're going to focus on the lead use case. Um, so let's get started and I'm going to quickly build a, build a flow and schedule it. So, and you feel free to follow along. I'm going to go to my setup and course we're gonna go to flow and when you click new flow um, it is it is still uh, auto launched flow it's not a screen flow so you create and let's first get the records that we want to update so in our case we are getting get lead with no email an object is lead and it's very similar like you can see it's all the same steps that we take for auto launched flow um, getting lead and obviously we don't want to invalid all the emails or all the leads so we're going to say get all the leads which conditions is not null email is null and we're gonna say that's true so conditions are met and in our case it's gonna be all the records and we also query the status because that's what we're gonna pop update and I'm gonna manually assign variables because I like this better um, collection variable and variable type var lead collection And data type is record and this is you have to check that allow, allow multiple values and object is lead so we're just creating a list of type lead as object okay so we have lead and it will be stored in lead collection variable and hit done so that's our lead and instead of directly trying to update records we actually are going to use a for loop because we want to loop through them and update them at once rather than one by one, which is not very cost effective. So loop through all the lead. Here, so that's our collection variable and first term last item. And we also need to create a var of lead type. So loop variable basically and it is also going to be of record type and it's obviously a single because it's a flow sorry for loop variable okay so we have a var lead to loop through that collection of leads and next we want to assign so this is where we are actually going to assign the status so status is invalid single variable var lead dot status there it is and we're going to enter invalid that's fine so once you assign the status and even for other auto launch flow this is very important once you assign the status you are also going to assign that 
single variable to the collection to a collection variable because so let me go back you are getting all the lead records which meet that criteria with no email and then you're looping through those leads and assigning each one so we are, let's say you have 100 leads you go to that and then 100 each lead is being assigned to invalid and then once that's done after that you have to come and assign that newly selected collection to a new sorry you have to assign this newly um, created variable to a collection and that collection we're gonna update you can't just update this one so if you don't have this second collection that assignment that I'm going to add your flow will give you unexpected results so get and this is where we're gonna say assign to collection lead and this will be different than the initial collection that's very important to remember um, so we're gonna say and we don't have another collection so we're gonna create one so here we're gonna say variable type var collection to update so that's the difference so this is the collection we're gonna be updating data type is record again and here we're gonna say allow multiple collection values and lead hit done and this is where you're gonna add and then assign that this was our um, loop loop variable so you just add that and remove that dot from there so that's it so we have a collection we are adding that single variable into that collection inside the for loop so now let's see what happened so we're going to start with this connect that get records loop through it once you're in, inside the loop you're going to assign that each collection in the each item in the collection invalid status and then you add it to the collection new collection that is going to be updated and then you close the loop and if you're familiar and if you already do apex this will make a lot of sense all right um, and then after that it's very simple you just update records and update lead and what's our condition use the IDs all the fields from record or record collection so this is what we're going to use so that's why we can directly use this one that's it hit done and after the loop is completed oops, sorry after the loop is completed you connect that oh I looks like I missed something the loop is completed here and that's good actually it showed me fault so that's the loop ended and you just connect it here after the last item it goes and updated so now and how to schedule it so when you click on start you get two options this is the users or apps launch the flow and this is actually schedule so the first option is when you launch from process builder or some other processes this is where you actually set it um, I'm just gonna set today's date I think it's 12th and time 7 p.m. so I'm gonna just say 7 15 p.m. okay and maybe I want to run it daily and this is optional if you want to run it on a subset of records for example you want to run it only the leads that were created after a certain time or whatever it might be so you are able to select here um, but in our case we already use that criteria so we don't need that done and now let's save it lead scheduler we can spell that correctly save and activate and if there are any errors it will show you right here okay so we actually created a scheduled flow and also scheduled it by clicking on the start so you can see it says right here January 12 and it's scheduled to run 7 15 p.m. every day and another thing to note is whenever you are making a scheduler like this make sure that you are actually covering all the um, required fields for example that might be there because if, if it doesn't meet any of those criteria and if it's trying to update the records you might get error saying um, you have 
field validation or something like that so always make sure that you run it in your developer org or whichever sandbox you're working on to make sure that it doesn't run into any errors like that okay so once you schedule it where do you see it it's actually inside the if you just type jobs going to setup you should see it under the schedule jobs and it is the same place where you see all the apex jobs schedule i don't have any here but i had another and the trail analytics that's actually my namespace but in your case if you don't have a namespace you'll see right here it also tells me which version so and submitted this it's not started yet next scheduled run is in 15 minutes or 13 minutes so there you have it so that's how you are going to schedule um and create a flow and it's very similar to auto launch flow almost nothing changed um, obviously you'll have to consider how how many records you're going to run this job into or how many records is this job going to update so you'll have to be mindful of that but definitely give it a try um, it, it can do very basic use cases and also some complex ones so definitely give it a try and let me know what use cases you used it for and let me know if you have any questions thank you